Welcome to ECLMO Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lessons, we have discussed a simple circuit and we have seen how we can arrange different electrical components like cells, bulbs, uh, connecting wires, and even resistors and capacitors in a circuit using simples. Now, in this lesson, we are going to consider two different arrangements of components in a circuit, that is series arrangement and parallel arrangement. And here, we're going to consider how we can arrange cells in parallel and cells in series. And then later, we will look at how we can arrange bulbs in parallel and bulbs in series arrangement and the effect which they have in the output. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to gain knowledge on how to arrange cells in series and then explain the effects of arranging cells in series in a circuit. Then to explain how you can arrange cells in parallel and the effects of arranging cells in parallel. Three, you should be able to describe how you can arrange bulbs in parallel and the effects that they have especially on their brightness. And then finally, describe how you can arrange bulbs in series and the effect that they have, especially on brightness. And then you are going to compare the brightness in parallel arrangement and the brightness in the series arrangement. So we are going to begin with the cells connected in series. For you to connect cells in series, then you have to connect the positive terminal of one cell to the negative terminal of the other cell. Like in this, you can see on diagram one, the positive terminal of this cell two, let's say cell one, two, three, cell two, the positive terminal is connected to the negative terminal of cell one. And then in cell three, the positive terminal of cell three is connected to the negative terminal of cell two. So when you arrange or you connect cells in series, then you arrange them in a way that the positive terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal of the other. Then if we have to write this or to draw this in a, a simple or in a, a simple circuit, then we can write it as a diagram two or we can draw it as in diagram two where the long arm represents the positive terminal connected to the negative terminal the positive terminal connected to the negative terminal and then the positive to the negative terminal. So when you have such arrangement, we call it series arrangement. Now, when you have two or more cells arranged in series, they make a battery because they will add up their voltage. In this case, if the first cell, the voltage in the first cell is 1.5 volts, then the second one is 1.5 volts, the third one is 1.5 volts, in this case, 1.5 volts, then we are going to find that the total, the total voltage, in this case here, total voltage, voltage is going to be 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5, which is going to give us a 4.5 voltage. Now, when we have a lot of voltage, like in this case, when you are adding one, the voltage of one cell to the second cell to the third cell, then the total voltage will be more than that of one cell. And in this case, we call it a battery. Now, in this case, if you are given like two cells, if you are given two cells arranged in series and each cell has an EMF, EMF of, let's say, two volts then now if you have two cells then the total voltage total voltage will be two times two which is going to be 4.0 volts this means when you have cells in series then the total emf should be the sum of individual cells the second arrangement of cells uh, we have is parallel arrangement and in parallel arrangement we arrange the cells in such a way that the positive terminals of one cell is connected to the positive terminal of the other cell and the negative terminal of one cell is connected 
to the negative terminal of the other cell. Like in this case, if we have this as our first cell, number one, cell two, and cell three, now look at this. The positive terminal here is connected through this wire, through this wire here, to the second positive terminal of this cell, and then it is also connected to the third cell, the positive terminal of the second cell is connected to the third cell. So the positive parts of these cells are connected together. And then when you come to the negative side of this cell, you are going to realize that the negative terminal here, the first case, the second cell, and the third cell, all of them are connected together by this wire here. So when you connect the positive terminal of a cell together, and the negative terminal of a cell also together, then that's what we call parallel arrangement. Now, when cells are in parallel arrangement, their EMF, their EMF or electromotive force is the same as that of one cell. Like in this case here, if you have the first cell as an EMF, EMF of 1.5, then the second cell has an EMF of 1.5, then the third cell also has an EMF of 1.5 volts in each case. And now total voltage, total voltage, total voltage in this arrangement is going to be like that of one cell. So here it's going to be 1.5 voltage. Remember this is different from when we have cells in series. We said when we have cells in series, if they are three, the total voltage will be the sum. You add 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5, which was bringing us 4.5. But for parallel arrangement, when you have cells, even if they are 10 arranged in parallel arrangement, the voltage, whatever you will read in this voltimeter up here, is the voltimeter. Voltimeter, it will be the same as that one of one cell. And that is in this case, for our case of 1.5, it will be 1.5. So the current which is supplied in this arrangement will last for a longer time. For example, if you have cells in series, if they will take one hour to be depleted, for cells in parallel, they will take, if there are three, they will take three times, like they will take three hours in this case. So here, it will supply current for a very long time. However, it's important to note that for you to, for you to arrange cells in parallel arrangement, the cells must have the same EMF. The, these cells must have same EMF, like in this case, 1.5 each. So before you arrange them, you must make sure that the, all of them have an EMF, which is the same. But if it's not the same, then it means one will drain the other. If you arrange them, let me give a case here. If you have three cells, one has an EMF of 1.2 voltage, another one has 1.5, then another one has 1.5. So you have three cells which have one has 1.5, the other one has 1.5, then the other one has 1.2. Then when you connect them in series, the one with 1.2 must get, must drain the one with 1.5 first until they reach the same voltage, like in this case, it will be 1.375 voltage. Now, when they, all of them reach the voltage of 1.375, then now they can supply equal voltage afterwards. So we also have different arrangements of bulbs in a circuit, and we are going to begin with arrangement of bulbs in parallel. And if you have uh, bulbs in parallel, then it means they function independently in such a way that if one goes off, then the rest will continue lighting. Like in this case, for you to make sure that happens, then you give each bulb its own independent switch. Like in this case, we have switch one, is switch one, then we have switch two for bulb two, then we have switch three for bulb three. So another thing that you should know is that these bulbs will have same brightness. They will have same brightness because the voltage, the voltage which will come, like here if we have 120, it's 120 volts which will come to this point. 
it's 120 volts which will come to bulb 2 and then it is 120 volts which will come to bulb 3. The only thing which will differ is that the current which will be flowing, when it reaches at this point it will split into 2, the one which will come will reach at this point and split into 2, we are going to see that, and then it will come and recombine at this juncture here, when it recombines then at this point it will be the same as the current which was flowing from this point. So the brightness of this bulb will be the same because the potential difference will be the same in all bulbs. The only thing which will differ is the current which we are going to see shortly. So here, if you put off switch one, bulb two and bulb three will continue lighting. If you put on bulb switch one and you put off switch two, bulb one and bulb three will be lighting. If you put on switch two and you switch off switch three, bulb one and two will continue lighting. And again, I've said the brightness in parallel arrangement will be the same because in this case, the voltage will be equal in all cases and therefore uh, there will be same potential or energy in the three bulbs. So in the second diagram here, we have the symbols for the, that arrangement. So here we have two cells, let's say, they are producing an EMF of an EMF in this case is the voltage of uh, let's say 5 volts. If it produces 5 volts in this case then the 5, vo the five volts will come at this point 5 volts then here we'll have 5 volts and then here we'll have 5 volts. This idea is very important because you need it in current electricity too. Now if these two cells are producing a current of 3 ampere. This 3 ampere, remember we said current flows from, uh, from the positive terminal to the negative terminal, so here it will flow down, then it will come like that. Now when it reaches this first junction here, it will split. Let's say one voltage will move up. One, one, uh, not one voltage, but one ampere will move up, then another two amperes will proceed. Two ampere will proceed. Now, when it reaches the second junction here, one ampere will move up, then one ampere will proceed. So you will have one ampere. This, this law, you will learn it in form three. That is current electricity two in what we call the catch off law. Now, this current will come, one ampere will come here, one ampere will come to pulp at two, one ampere will come to pulp one. Then now, when it reaches up here, it will still be one ampere coming. When it reaches here, it will recombine. These two now, one ampere and one ampere, which was coming from this point, they will recombine to create two ampere here. Then when they reach, when two ampere reaches at this point, they will recombine one ampere and the two ampere, which was coming from that point, they will recombine here to form the three ampere, which will continue flowing at, at this point here. Remember, it was three ampere. So in this case, when you are arranging bulbs in parallel, current you, you add for you to get total current you add current one plus current two plus current three but for voltage if you want voltage across all the bulbs then voltage total is equal to voltage one is equal to voltage two is equal to voltage three that is very important to note then now we have bulbs in series arrangement, and if a one bulb in a series arrangement goes off, then it means all bulbs will go off because these bulbs share a common switch. Like you can see in this first diagram here, we have a switch here, then we have the positive terminal of this battery, and then the negative terminal of this battery. So if you switch this switch on, then all the three bulbs will go on all the three bulbs will go on. But what you should know here, the first bulb will be more bright, then the second one will be less bright, and then the third one will light with a very low brightness. Because as you move from bulb one, it will consume some energy, then less energy will go bulb two, then the bulb three will receive the least energy. This bulb one, bulb two, and then bulb three. So bulb one will receive enough energy because this voltage will be moving through it fast. Then when it goes to two, it will be less bright. 
then when it goes to three, it will be most less bright. And the reason why this happens first, in this bit which we have here with a positive and a negative terminal here, it has what we call internal resistance. So there will be internal resistance of the current inside this, inside this uh, cell. And again, this wire also has what we call resistance. Different wires have different resistance. So what you should know here is that in this case, current does not have loops in which it can uh, split. So it must move. If you have a current here, it will move through these bulbs like that. So current in this case will be equal because it only has one path to flow. But voltage in this case will be decreasing because in the first bulb, there will be a lost voltage. Then the second bulb, there will be also a lost voltage. Then the third bulb will receive a voltage which has been lost from bulb one, two, and three. So if we can draw it as a symbol in the second diagram here, then now let's say this uh, cell of ours is overlaying us a voltage of five volts. Then it means here, as I have said, the voltage will be decreasing. So if the, in bulb one, we can have that same voltage as let's say five volts, then when it goes to bulb two, we will have a less voltage. Like in this case, we can have 4.5 voltage because now here we'll have a lost voltage of 0 0.5. And then this bulb two, when it consumes some energy, the voltage which will reach bulb three will be less, let's say 4.0 volts. Then it means here, since voltage is the one which determines the brightness of, this, uh, uh, of these bulbs, then the first bulb here will light more bright because it has high energy, that is five volts. Then the second bulb will light less bright than the first one. Then the third one will light most less bright because it has received less energy. So again, what you need to know, if the same same uh, cell here is supplying us a current, current of three ampere, then this current does not have any loop. So it will flow from uh, the, the positive terminal here. It will flow through this side like that. And it will flow through these bulbs because it does not have an alternative. So if you produce, if these cells produce three ampere, three ampere will be here, three ampere will be here, three ampere will be here, three ampere will move all through. So in this case, if we can write a summary of this, then the total voltage total voltage in this case total is equals to voltage one plus voltage two plus voltage three but total current total current i is equals to uh, i current one is the same as current total current is the same as current one is the same as current two is the same as current three. So here, the bulbs will light, but at different brightness. This is different from what we discussed in the first case of parallel arrangement. They will light with the same brightness, but here, different brightness. So that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss sources of electricity.